Hey everyone, welcome back to Solid Quest. This is Ed and welcome to another unboxing day. Today we're taking a look at what's inside of Escape Plan by Vital Lacerda. This is published by Eagle Griffin Games. It was on Kickstarter uh, last year. It just recently uh, was recently delivered to backers. So I'm going to show you what I got in uh, in well in this Kickstarter. I got the regular, I guess, uh, Kickstarter version of Escape Plan. So it's this box right here and then also the upgrade pack. I'm going to show you what you can get in this. I believe it's uh, available uh, on Griff Eagle Griffin Games store. I think you can get, still get this upgrade pack if you want to have a bit of a premium, more premium product here with Escape Plan. So, um, well, very nice cover. Uh, just first impressions look at this. I mean, I love the artwork on this game. I think it's very, very, very nice. So, and this is a big box. If you can't tell, Jesus Christ, this is a heavy one. So I'm going to take this plastic off and we're going to have a look at what's inside of this huge, huge box, which seems to be dripping with theme. If you know the other products by Vital Lacerda, you'll know that they are very and highly thematic. So let's take a look at everything without this horrible plastic doing a bit of glare here there you go so here is escape plans uh artwork the front artwork which is lovely super fitting i just love this uh this cooperation between lacerda and uh Ion O'Toole. they make great games that are great looking so it's really great cooperation there so let me try to show you the sides here because since this is really big i don't know how successful i can be so We've got this side right here, it just says escape plan. So we have a little bit of artwork here. There you go, for an horizontal or even vertical storage. It kind of uh, meshes both options in on this side, which does look nice, I gotta say. Here is this side right here with the escape plan name on it. And there you go, again, kind of a paste that will accommodate both uh, vertical or horizontal. And here is the back of the box, there you go. So we have the game set up here and a little bit of text right here. You can learn to play with the gaming rules video. You have, you have a shortcut right here if you have a QR code reader. Uh, what else? You have the game components list. You have a lot of stuff. One to five players, 60 to 120 minutes. It can be a long one, I guess, with the bigger player count. So that's the box but what we're really anxious to see i guess it isn't the box is it it's what's inside so let's have a look at what we're getting here okay so something just flew off immediately it is eagle griffin's games uh highlights of the 2008 2019 catalog all right a few other games in here a few other games that we will have on the channel as well uh, like Lisboa and The Gallerist. I actually got The Gallerist alongside with uh, Escape Plan, so we're going to have both of those uh, soon on the channel, and uh, further on we'll have some more complex games. Um, but yeah, for now, let's take a look at this one, Escape Plan. That's the one we have right in front of us. So here is the rule book for Escape Plan, game rules. It's, well, it's kind of kind of biggish. This is, what, 24 pages, okay, with the back right here. So let's just have a look here at what we got. We've got game components, okay, like a big list. Game components, board setup, there we go. So the two player setup, I'm guessing is, I don't know if this is the, the so, check the components and rules for the solo game on page 23, okay. So this might not be the setup for us solo players. I guess our setup is near the end, that's, Oh well, I'm not a big fan when they put the the rules for the solo game at the end of rule books. I don't guess why they still do that, but oh well. Let's just continue on. Maybe there aren't that big of a change. All right, so quite a few Im images here. So we have good examples. That's good. Things are clear. The images are very zoomed in on, uh, I guess, the, the parts of the board or the components they are trying to um, talk about. So that's good. It's really colorful. It is a very colorful game, but it isn't, uh, I don't know, childish colorful. Um, 
it, it does fit the theme quite well. It might look weird at first, but it really grew on me, uh, the artwork and the, the, the art style of the game. It really did. All right, change of day, there you go. So as you can see, all of the images, all of the pages have quite a, a few images, so that's pretty, pretty good. Okay, solo game, here we go. Uh, so Lieutenant Costa, all right, so I don't know how much this is going to change, but it isn't, uh, it isn't that big. As you can see, the solo game, there you go has a bit of text but it's all on here on page 23 I'm not sure if these tips are for the solo game as well or not okay but that, that doesn't seem to be that much of a difference uh, I don't know if I can let me try to successfully successfully zoom in here there you go okay there you go so not too much text that they added for the solo game all right so and the last page is a bit of a reference to help us with the description of tiles and cards to remember all of that stuff. All right, so that's the rule book, 23 pages of goodness for us to read. And then let's move on into those tiles, those beautiful tiles. Let me just put this a little bit aside. There we go. All right, so the tokens are quite big, which is good, I thought. They would seem smaller, but they're quite big. I love these money tokens right here. These are just amazing. I love the look on these. They're really, really cool. I, I mean, this, Jesus Christ, the production seems off the charts here. So here are the map tiles again. They are very intricate. I don't know if you can tell, but they are quite intricate. The artwork, as you can see, I mean, it, it is stunning. Here's another map tile, there we go. So these are the exits, the ones we're trying to reach to get out of Dodge. And I guess this is still money as well, but just bigger amounts. And these locations as well, that they'll go on the map itself, on the map tiles. These are, I'm guessing, locations for the map. And here are the backs of these exits. What, what do they mean exit? I don't know. Huh. But yeah, there you go. So that's the first sheet with a few map tiles, a few location tiles. I'll call them like that. I don't know if that's the, the name of these. A bit of currency. I'm guessing this is currency as well. And a few of these keys as well. So th these ones are upgraded with metal. If you get the upgrade pack, you're, all gonna, you're going to get metal keys, which is really cool as well. So that's the first board right here. The first punch board, number one. Okay, punch board number two has a bit... Uh, more of each of these so you have some more map tiles again look at uh, even this helicopter the, I love the artwork on this helicopter I love everything Jesus Christ I really like this aesthetic it's so up my alley we have another exit we have a few more locations here some more currency some more keys a little bit of these ones which I'm guessing this is maybe stuff that will not rob, I won't say rob, but maybe locations will visit and see if there's something in them. I don't know. I'm saying that because of this back right here. Maybe it's stuff that we randomly draw and see if we get money or we get nothing like on this one. But yeah, there we go. This is sheet number two. And then number three. Well, a bit more of each of those. There you go. It just popped out. So actually, let me show you this one a little bit zoomed. There you go. See the detail? This isn't just blue. I mean, it's like a worn out map, like uh, blueprint of a town, worn out. It is really good, I gotta say. So there you go. And the rest of those. So we have like a biker location, biker stop. This is like a subway, gas station, a few other tokens, which I'm not sure what they're for. More of these key sets. More currency and some more locations there we go I don't know how many of these boards we have but well not too many two more okay so more map tiles sorry I keep bumping this with the punch boards I'm sorry uh, more map tiles some more tokens in here not really sure what they're for more currency a few bulletproof vests some more of these which I'm not sure where to get them and a whole bunch of currency, 
threes and fives and ones, a lot of cash. These bandages to uh, score to mark our injuries and a lot more tokens. And let me show you the back on these. So the currency is just the same on both sides. These ones do have a different side to them. There you go. Okay, so that's the punch boards. Quite a lot of stuff in them. And then here are the player boards, which again, Jesus Christ, I'm in love with this. So this is, these are dual layers. So there are recesses here on the board, on in here, also in here, in this track right here. Uh, also in here, we also have a bit of a uh, double layer. Also in here, in this place right here, which we, I don't know what we place here. And in here, there's a little bit of a, this is popping up, this little thing here. All right, so that's it. Oh, in here as well. So it's also double layered. And here as well, Jesus Christ, I hadn't noticed a lot of these. So let me maybe try to show it like this. I don't know how successful I can be to, to show off this double layer board, but there you go. It is lovely. I mean, it just looks amazing. It's like an open briefcase, the artwork, and it's it's really good. The back of these, well, it's just black, if you were wondering. So that's one of the players. So they differ in color and also in the artwork here depicted here. The rest, I think, is exactly the same. So this is the purple player. This is the orange player. This is the pink player and also the green player. So we have five of these boards, right? Yeah. Five boards, yeah. I usually like, or I think this is my favorite art. I think I'll play this one probably. So there we go. So five player boards, all amazing looking. Uh, what is this? Ah, okay. So I think this is to complement. Yeah, this is definitely to complement the boards. I'm just not sure how to uh, place this, but this does fold. It does fold. So let me maybe try mm. to figure out. I have no idea how to place this. Nope, no idea. So maybe I'll, I won't waste time with this. I'll, I'll, I'll check out the rule book actually, and let me check out and, and put this together. Right, so never mind. I thought this would somehow fit into those player boards, but no, this is just a player screen, just so you have some internet information uh, behind the screen. You can just place it like this and store hidden information in there. It doesn't, uh, I thought these would kind of like lock themselves into the player boards uh, and screen information in there, uh, but no, not really. Well, I, they can if you want to, but they're kind of individual pieces as well. So one in each uh, player color, there you go. All right, yeah. What else do we have here? We have the map. Uh, should I just take out the map right now? Let's do, no, let's not do it just yet. Let's see this one. Escape, ah, escape plan, punch board six front. So we weren't done with punch boards. So there was one more punch board left. There we go. A disguise, this is stuff we can use, I guess. First aid, we can get the bikers to help us. I don't know what this is, but there we go. So here's the back of these tokens. Love the artwork. Just love it. So here is the map and it is kind of big. So as you can see, we have a nice little insert here on the box, but let's open up this big map. Let's see if I can fit it on camera because it does seem to be quite large. All right, it is double sided. Okay, so here's one side of the map. I will have to probably pan out a little bit. There we go. So that's one of the sides. Let's to kind of show it like this. We have this great looking walkie talkie right here on the bottom. And here's the, the other side of the map. There you go. All right, so that's one of the sides. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, they're exactly the same on one side and the other. Probably not. They probably, well, although the map is kind of made, constructed by the player. So I don't know what is going to 
Ah, so there you go. You have we have a little marker here that says uh, this is in the way. Sorry. This little marker says one to three. So this is the one to three player size, I guess. And I think we'll have the other one on the other side. Did you spot the gallerist right there? Well done if you did. All right, let's flip it and have a look at the other side. Not really sure what's going to change here. Uh, it, this one says, yeah, four to five right here. I'm guessing, well, the rest is, is going to be very similar. At least in terms of layout, I guess it will be very similar. But there you go. So a very, very big map. This is one of the largest I own, definitely. This is, I don't have ma too many maps that don't even fit on camera. So this one is definitely one of the biggest. But then again, this is, well, this isn't the map, this is the board. You're, we will be placing the map tiles and uh, constructing the map while we play. So the map is going to be kind of random and different every time we play. So uh, yeah, this isn't exactly the map, this is just the board and then we, where the map will be. And then we'll have some other areas to, I guess, put tokens and all kinds of stuff in there all right so let's store this big guy and place it right here for now and let's take a look at the great insert we're getting here on this little package which is not so little if there you go so we have a lid to keep things all uh pretty in inside we have a cloth bag like a cotton bag or linen bag drawstring bag to put some tokens in here. We also have a lot of zip bags, quite a bunch of them inside of this. We have some sheets, I'm guessing to tally up our scores at the end of each game. So these are double-sided, which is very nice. So that doubles the capacity for, yeah. So there's a lot of games that you can definitely keep score of right here. And then we have these, which I'm guessing are the player aids. But there's these, this, there's a bunch of these. Um, let me see if I can. Okay. Not being very successful in ah, okay. There's not a bunch of these. They are very thick. But they kind of placed it. I'll have to use this to take the other ones out. Sorry. There you go. Okay, four of these player aids. So for day phases, police officers to open lockers, notoriety, move steps. Okay, there you go. So four of these player aids, quite thick. I mean, they are quite thick. Quite good quality, these player aids. Again, I think the gallerist has, you know, some this sort of quality as well uh, in terms of player aids. Well, in terms of probably everything, the production is certainly amazing. So we have a few tokens in here. So let's have a look at those. So I don't really know uh, about all of the tokens, so I'm going to show you, but I can't really tell you what everything is supposed to be. Although, well, these ones are in the colors of the players, so I can take a wild guess at these ones, these cubes right here. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure about what this is, but it does kind of look, seems to have a sun and a moon. So I'm guessing this is to mark the days. There you go. Okay, we also have this, which seem to be the meeples for the police and uh, and those NPCs, which I can't really remember the name. I'm sorry. So they are silk screen, which is nice. So we have this, a bit more basic. We have the biker one, which looks really cool. We have this gas token and this is the police. So I don't think, yeah, these are just kind of like police tokens. There you go. So one in each color. I don't know if they represent different characters. I think that the, the one for solo, I think they're Sarah and Acosta, Costa, I think. So I'm not sure if these, they are these ones or not. Or if these are just police in different colors. And then we have different meeples for those other NPCs. I'm not sure. But there you go, silk screen, very nice looking. 
are these actually these might be just spare pieces because yeah these are the, <laughs> i guess these are just spare pieces all right so never mind me because there's a whole bunch of other ones in here so yeah these are just the spare pieces probably they did the same on the galleries they also offer spare pieces so okay so well we did already saw these so these are the more of those knights and they uh tokens these ones the white ones with this with this symbol so you get a whole bag of those there you go i'm saying night and day but they're probably something else so a whole bag of those blue uh policemen a whole bag of the red policemen which might in fact be the that npc that i was talking about because i, I don't see any singular npcs so a whole bag of the black ones as well, black policemen, and well, a whole bag of those circular shaped tokens. What else? Uh, well, a whole bag of the bikers, the ones we've, we've seen as well. And then we have, well, some black cubes. Not sure what they will track, but there you go. You have a bag of those. I'm not going to take them out. I mean, they're just black cubes. Uh, a bag of these gasoline tokens. There you go. It's cool. And then we have one, two, three, four, five sets of player tokens. So these ones are in each of the player colors. And I'm just going to show you one of these sets. Well, the other ones are just different in color. The rest will probably be the same. All right, let me just get this one open. All right, there we go. So what do we have here? So we have a few cubes. Well, nothing to write home about except for this one. Uh, we have a few cubes. We have some cylinders, uh, some discs. I mean, pretty standard stuff, except for this one, which is silk screen. And this is our player token. This is going to represent us on the map and it is lovely. I really like the, the briefcase detail. I really, really love this token. It is great. It looks just, just great. Love it. It really does look great. Awesome. So that's the tokens we get in the base box. We're just missing these cards right here, which I'm going to show you as well. And then uh, we'll move on into the upgrade pack. Now that I think of it, maybe um, those custom meeples for the the NPCs for the two-player game and the solo game, maybe they are, they are in the upgrade pack, the different meeples. I don't know. I, I'm just guessing here. But for now, let's, this is still in the base game, so let's see what cards we have here. I, I'm sorry, I've seen, you know, playthroughs when this was on Kickstarter, but I can't remember uh, a lot of things, so I don't really know what these cards are for, I gotta say. So let me just show you the backs here. Exit. Exit. This must be to remind us of something. Probably. I don't know. Then we have these with this back right here. There you go. I guess this tells us uh, where to head, where the exits are, or the, the right exits, I guess. And I'm guessing this is the deck for the Costa. I think this is Costa. Who will play against us on solo i believe and so i guess this will instruct him this will give him instructions so this is how it will look and these i think are just cards upgrade cards that we can place on our player board so more stuff from costa and more of this so there's they're kind of shuffled in i'm guessing this is for sarah who will also be this she enters in two player game i'm guessing she's going to enter in a solo game as well i'm just guessing i, I don't really know but yeah so handcuffs these are kind of shuffled in so oh this is the same on both sides okay we also have this escape plan card there you go so well i'm just going to show you the, the front because this is all bunched in so oh well so this is either for costa or yeah stunt I like these ones, <laughs> bribe. The, the ones for the player board are quite nice. We have the chopper, boxer, chopper. I don't know if this is, you know, reinforcements that we can kind of call upon. It does look cool. 
informer this is for sarah medic okay there you go so a deck of these and i think the other one is is pretty much the same yeah it is well at least it does seem to be so okay and yeah this is pretty much another deck of cards with more bribes and well stuff for sarah and a jet ski and more stuff for sarah a few are duplicates others not so much fixer like this artwork this is for costa i think it's costa uh don't blame me if it's not costa i think it is uh so yeah there's the gang a few more other cards general store ninja Ooh, that's cool fast car really cool artwork on that fast car a medevac what is this fighter sewer okay an informer again medic there you go so we have these two decks of cards that will you know give instructions to the npcs as well so that's what you get in escape plan um quite good production i mean the artwork is lovely uh, a few of the tokens are really cool. I mean, these were a bit more simple, the player tokens, uh, but the player boards are great. So there's really, really some very good stuff in this box. But, uh, well, if you don't, if it's not good enough yet for you, you can get the upgrade pack and upgrade a few of the components uh, themselves. Uh, so I'm guessing this, this is kind of like, what, what does this have? Okay, so it says upgrade pack. Expand your game with unique player powers, mission objectives, and extra content. We have 9 metal locker keys, 10 player power cards, notoriety stars, mission cards, mission cubes, mission tokens. Sorry, this was off camera. Sorry. One guest can contact card, Lieutenant Costa Meeple, and Inspector Sandra Meeple. There you go. Fixer tiles, contact card display board, and acrylic player cubes. Ah, that, that's better. Because I, I have to admit, I'm not a big, the biggest fan of the... Wooden um, components, wooden tokens, not the biggest fan. So, I'm not going to show everything in detail. Some of the things are quite, you know, quite regular. So we have the not like stuff like this, the notoriety. These are pretty much, well, red stars, red star tokens. This is the new notoriety tokens for uh, that you can get in the upgrade pack and here's the good stuff so here is the sandra and costa meeple i'm actually going to take them out to show them a little bit better for you they have also this kind of bourbon uh square cubes don't know what they're for but there you go so here there is his costa the costa meeple it looks great and here is sandra looking Great as well, so really cool silk screen meeples. They look amazing. I love the look on these. There you go, let me put them right there. So we have also a few spares. So they give us one more star and one more of these red uh, cubes. And then I guess, I'm guessing these are spares as well, spare acrylics. And there you go, so a few acrylic cubes in the player colors, also to upgrade, much better looking than the regular wooden cubes, although, I kind of was hoping, well, it, it would be cool to have everything in acrylic, not just the cubes, but oh well, you can have everything, right? So there you go, you have an upgrade on these as well. So you have one zip back, and there you go, <laughs> you can also get one of these. Uh, so here are the player powers and the mission cards, this explains everything, how to incorporate it into the game. Contact card board, the fixer tiles, the meeples, the gas can contact cards. So there you go. So it's, uh, it helps you uh, into, uh, to incorporate all of the stuff in here. So this is, I don't know what this is, sorry. This is the fixer tiles, okay. So three fixer tiles to the fixer tiles stack. So you're adding these new ones and you also have these check marks right here, which I don't really know what they're for. There you go. So we get these. We also get the metal keys. Let me show you those next. They look really cool. Look at, look at the sound they make. So we have three greens, three browns and three gray ones. They are really, really cool looking. Amazing, cool stuff. So there's nine of 
nine of these metal keys uh, what else we get this the contact card board so here is the back and here is the front where we can place our contacts there you go so it is a an, another addition to the to the board itself there you go and is it like this or is it i don't know uh, last but not least, well, I think it is, yeah, it is actually like this. You place it like this, I'm guessing. And last but not least, you have a few more cards as well, uh, as well to use. So, we have the gas can contact card and a few others, right? Right, we have the player powers and mission cards in here as well. So, the gas can contact card, there you go. You can just place it right here, I guess. There you go, on our new board. Uh, and then we have these ones, the mission cards. Here's the back, it says mission. Pretty clear, and here are the missions. You may cross water. I don't know if this is kind of perks that we can unlock when we have this these missions. Uh, I'm trying to focus here, there you go. Okay. So quite a few missions. All right, so there are six of these. And then we have the player powers. There you go, so one for each of the players. Okay, Scar, Driver, Claws, Safe Expert. I don't know if these are, you know, locked uh, to these characters. I guess they are. And then we have these ones, uh, which I guess are neutral and everyone can get them. They seem to be allies. They seem to be allies, so I'm not really sure what this is. Yeah. Not sure what these are. Uh, if, uh, if these are kind of neutral powers we can have or just allies we can recruit. But there you go. So that's what you get on the upgrade pack. And that's everything you can get so far for Escape Plan, which, well, it is a lot. Uh, I gotta say the production value of this is, is amazing. I mean, the artwork itself. Just the artwork, really, it just gets you in love with the game. Uh, so yeah, that was it for Escape Plan unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, stick around in the channel. We're going to have a playthrough uh, in the future for Escape Plan. And yeah, that's it for me for today. I hope to see you all in the next video. And until then, goodbye, everyone.